Hello everybody, welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh bother, today we're going back to the 100 Acre Wood, because we got the torn page from the Pride Lands. Wow, our only safe point in Hollow Bastion is in Merlin's house. I forgot about that. Another thing we're going to do is a setup just for when we go back to Twilight Town, we are putting on Magnet again. Because, trust me, when we go to Ta Twilight Town, we're going to want Magnet. It's going to be really, really helpful. Also, a new ability for Donald. He has Fire Boost, increases damage done by fire-based attacks by 20%. That's pretty nice. Unfortunately, Donald, we can't afford to put that on. So you're just going to have to deal with it. Ah, man! Anyways, off we're going to enter the book again. Winnie the Pooh. We could do Twilight Town first, but I'm not sure then if we'll be able to go right back to Hollow Bastion and put this page in the book. So I just want to do it sooner rather than later. It's a new place. It looks like Rabbit's house. Let's go. I'm really excited. I love this part of 100 Acre Wood. Oh, hello, Sora. <laughs> I'm just riding this balloon. Oh, did it appear? Come on. Oh, poor Eeyore's house. Poor balloon. Eeyore, Pooh, are you okay? Gosh, that's too bad, Eeyore. After all that work. No matter. Most likely would have fallen down anyway. Well, I'll help you fix your house, Eeyore. Oh, hello there, Biglet. Thanks for offering. Wouldn't want to spoil your fun day, though. Well, hello, Piglet. And hello, somebody I don't know. Boo, this is Eeyore. You know Eeyore, don't you? Um, I do? Oh, bother. Pooh's amnesia is still acting up. What could have happened to him? I have an idea. Maybe Pooh's tummy is so rumbly that it's making him forget. If we bring him some honey, he's sure to remember. Well, uh, I guess it's worth a try. Might work, but probably not. <laughs> First, we gotta find some honey. You was like, yeah, I don't think that's gonna work out. If honey's what you're looking for, I know just the place. Follow me. <laughs> it's Rabbit's house. Rabbit always has honey in his house. <laughs> oh, that is a giant treasure chest near Rabbit's house. So for those of Ra Rabbit's house, uh, for those of you who say 100 Acre Wood is a sucky world, uh, clearly you've never played this part of 100 Acre Wood. Another thing I want to do is, got the Circle of Life keyway play, but I'm going to put back on Hero's Crest. Because it's better. Alright, we got some chests. Oh, a Mithril Crystal! Holy cow. And an AP Boost. Rabbit, you've got some good stuff. It seems to read pumpkins. Does it? Pumpkins. Close enough. It should read carrots. It seems it was supposed to read cabbage. Daylight puzzle piece. Giant chest behind Rabbit's laundry. Laundry's being hung to dry. Oh, and bam! Oh, the draw ring draws in nearby orbs. That's also a good accessory if you don't have the final mix draw ability. This mailbox reads Rabbit. Rabbit's got some stuff. Rabbit seems to have barricaded his front door, though. Splendid. Just splendid. I like Rabbit. Rabbit's one of my favorites. Whew. Why, hello there, Rabbit. This is the place I told you about. Wow, look at that. How yummy for my tummy. Maybe it belongs to Rabbit. Doesn't that honey belong to someone? <laughs> oh, I don't think so, Piglet. <laughs> oh, no! My honey! 
Who did you eat all my honey? Oh, hello. It's nice to meet you. What did you say? Is that for me too? Pooh, don't just grab it out of his hands. That's rude. Oh, I was sure I'd found a safe place for it, too. Sorry, it's our fault. We brought Pooh here. Oh, hello, Sora. It's good to see you again. Same here. We really are sorry. It's quite alright. I know Pooh can't be stopped when he gets this hungry. Uh, pardon me, somebody I don't know. Is there any more? <laughs> Are you feeling alright, Pooh? Could you really have forgotten all about me? What on earth is going on? Is there more honey? You see, my tummy's rumbly. That's it. He's so hungry he can't remember a thing. Oh, we thought that too. Then let's stuff this bear full of honey. I wouldn't get my hopes up. But I thought Pooh ate all your honey, Rabbit. Oh, I've got more. I must have emergency rations, but I hid them a bit too well. Honey Slider. Head for the finish line, but look out for obstacles. Press triangle after hitting an obstacle to rescue Pooh, or Pooh will continue to lose health. Press and hold the square button to move left and right quickly. The game is over when Pooh has run out of HP. Gopher will help Sora with an obstacle one time. I just want to say this. This is the best minigame in any Kingdom Hearts game. And if they want to make 100 Acre Wood an amazing world, just make every minigame in the 100 Acre Wood this game, just on different courses. It's like Winnie the Pooh racing levels. So we just pick up the honey as we go. And it's awesome. Other than that, we just move left and right. This is so much fun. Perhaps a bit more. <laughs> this is just so amazing. <laughs> I've written this far when Piglet said, oh. This is where you might want to start using square. <laughs> Perhaps just a bit more. So when you see Gopher, you can use a reaction command to pick him up. Now if we hit an obstacle, Gopher will get knocked off instead of Pooh. Yeah, but it's just Sora and Pooh riding a honey pot as like a go-kart through the woods. It's so amazing. And now it's winter time. And there's a giant snowball following us. Just follow the arrows, that's where you'll find the honey. Gopher is the name. Oof. Thanks, Gopher. Appreciate it. <laughs> My tummy rumble, oh, Bob. <laughs> It's so clever. This is amazing. It's just so fun. It's like pure fun. Glad you're back, Gopher. I appreciate you, even if people who are huge fans of the books don't. I love the Winnie the Pooh books, and he he, he only originated in the Disney version. Finish! You can stop. Stop, please. There now, Pooh. Have just as much as you'd like. Why, thank you. Oh, I think I will. <laughs> that game is so much fun. Holy cow. It's so good. Pardon me, kind somebody, but do you know where I might find another smackerel or two of honey? Oh. <laughs> My tummy seems to be telling me there's some honey right in there. Not this again, Pooh. Ah, uh, he still doesn't remember. What in the world has gotten into Pooh Bear? Whatever it is, we better help him. Oh, yes, and quickly, too. No oh, stuff and fluff. One, two, 
Three. This is far north. Thank goodness he's a stuffed animal. You're okay now, Pooh. Well, I wouldn't be so sure of that if I were you. Why, just, just look at him. He doesn't even remember who I am. <gasps> Perhaps it's all this blustery wind, or, or maybe he actually needs more honey, or he's, he's sleepwalking and, and dreaming. Well, if I am dreaming, which I suppose I could be, I hope that I get to the part where you invite me to lunch again very soon, Rabbit. That's right, you're always stopping by for lunch. <gasps> Wait, Pooh, you called me Rabbit. Well, of course, Rabbit. What about Eeyore? Do, do you remember Eeyore too, Pooh? Oh, hello there, Eeyore. It's ever so nice to see you today. Thanks for noticing me, Pooh Bear. And hello to you too, somebody I don't know. <sighs> oh man. Well, at least you remember Rabbit and Eeyore now. And so we complete a part two of many in the Hundred Acre Wood. Oh, yes. Oh, we don't get an item for that, though. That's fine. Anyhow, off to the world map. We're going back to Twilight Town, everybody. Because we've beaten all the other worlds. Land in Twilight Town. Yeah, Kyrie's here. Don't forget about that. <laughs> Sounds like we've got trouble. Vivi, you sound different than what I expected you to sound like. Well, welcome back to Twilight Town, y'all. Hello, Moogle. Oh, I, I can only buy dark shards, eh? We get an AP boost for completing the collection. Sweet. Yeah, nothing more we can make. Oh, Jesse's Accessory Shop. Yeah. We already have one of everything, so that's fine. Oh! We can get jobs if we want money. I don't. <laughs> hey, dude. Okay, we got one of them. Oh, we don't have one of everything, though. We'll buy the regular old Blizzard Armlet. We'll buy the regular old Thunder Trinket. We don't have the Abbas Chain either. Let's buy that. We have one of those, we have one of those. We don't have the fire up angle. That's too expensive, though. <laughs> Thanks, big -us. Wait, is it big -us or just bigs? Oh, it's big. Bigs is. <laughs> bigs! I can't believe it's you! Oh, hey, it's a treasure chest. Remember, we haven't gotten all the treasure chests in Twilight Town yet. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> uh, okay, well, hey, not. Let's try that again. Okay, there we go. Gotta get that daylight puzzle piece. Thanks for the thanks for the directions, okay? How did we miss just that one chest? Seems strange to me. Anyhow, we gotta go to the sand lot if we wanna do what the story actually wants us to do. We got the dusks again. Defeat all of the nobodies. So the first part of this fight's really easy. We just got dusks again. But the dusks are a lot stronger than we've seen before. This is where Magnet is going to help out. This is where things get hard. This is a new enemy type known as the Berserker. And they are incredibly powerful. So take them out quickly. And if they drop their clubs, you can pick them up with a reaction command and then use them for a powerful attack. Which we will be using in just a bit, because after we finish this final dusk off, we have three Berserkers. Let's use Magnet and try to pull them in. Well, that didn't work. Alright. Let's use Wisdom Form. Maybe that was a mistake. Okay, 
Okay, not wisdom point. Ouch. Yeah, I knew I was gonna die that fight at one point. Three berserkers at one time is absolutely insane to deal with. Oh man. Did it save that we got the chest or the puzzle piece? No, of course it didn't. Let's try this again. This time I'm not gonna do wisdom form. That was a big mistake. I'm gonna summon Genie. I want Valor Genie. Oh, hey Genie actually will heal you when you're on HP. Let's do Sonic. Do Sonic in order to get rid of that dumb berserker. Thank you, Genie. I forgot Genie actually does heal you when you're low on HP. That. Where's the other one? Yeah, so I locked onto that guy and then used Magnet, and the Magnet appeared over where he was. That, that was, he was too high for that to be effective. Come on, Genie. Thank you, Genie. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Impressive. By the way, have you seen a man named Axel? I expect he's here somewhere. Like I care. You see, Axel's no longer acting in our best interest. Is he with the organization, too? Yes. You are with that front? Not a very organized organization. Don't let your guard down. Axel will stop at nothing to turn you into a heartless. Gee, thanks for looking out for us, mister. But I'm sure we can take care of ourselves just fine. I saw you die in that fight once before. <laughs> you can't say that you're in a good position right now. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Axel aside, it would break our hearts to hear something happen to you. Hearts? You don't have any hearts. True, we don't have hearts. But we remember what it was like. That's what makes us special. What do you mean? We know very well how to injure a heart. Sora, you just keep on fighting those heartless. Let's jump in after him. How come? I'm not sure, but maybe he'll lead us to the organization's world. Don't be reckless. Do you want to end up like Riku? What? <laughs> He's like, follow me if you want. Hey! Wait! Pluto ran in there and he was fine, so come on. What did he mean? end up like Riku. Hey, how about you get out of my town now? You've caused enough trouble. I just saved your butts! Riku. Come on, you away. Come on, <laughs> that looks like female Riku. Hold there. it. Make up your mind. This goes to the strongest guy in Twilight Town. Me? <laughs> cool. Thanks, but we don't really need it. Whoa! <laughs> Strongest guy in Twilight Town. Goofy. <laughs> what? <laughs> this goes to the toughest kid in school. Arthur. <laughs> oh, Sora. Where'd you get the trophy? Um, Pence, right? Do you know a girl named Kyrie? K Kyrie? I sure do. Uh, then you better come to the station. He's a yes! <laughs> We get Cypher's trophy. That was Roxas's trophy. Trophy obtained from Cypher. It's decorated with four crystal orbs. Genie, over and out. <laughs> Thanks, Genie. You really saved my bacon. Cypher's trophy and the Mithril crystal. And all of these new chains. Oh yeah, and the draw ring. Can't forget about the draw ring. Yeah. Back alley. 
I need, I need to touch more of these safe points as well. There's one in the usual spot. There's one by the mansion. I don't think I can actually get to the one in the mansion, though. Oh, hey. Gotta go to the station on the double. He's like, no, Kyrie's here. I can't just dip out like I did at the Lion King world. <laughs> this is actually plot important. <laughs> Unlike the Lion King world. Hey! Hey, so how do you guys know Kyrie? Kyrie was really here? Yeah. And she said she was looking for you. Tell me where she is! Well... What a romantic story. If you stick around, Sora's bound to show up. Yeah, he said he's coming back. Okay. What took you so long, Kyrie? Like two seconds after we introduced ourselves, Axel found her. Somehow, I just knew you'd be here. I tell you, Kyrie, you've got a lot of guts jumping right into the darkness like that. <laughs> okay, so Hayner actually like attacked him, but like Axel just dodged. Pence just ran past him. Olette grabs a baseball bat. <laughs> This wouldn't happen if they had a gun. <laughs> One gun to share. <laughs> Kyrie. You think it might have been Axel? They said it was. <laughs> we watched the flashback so it looked like him. Sorry. Hey, it's not your fault. Come on. Cheer up! Oh, it's like I shouldn't have left my gun at home. I can't even say that. I gotta help Kyrie. Sora, careful! That's my trophy! <laughs> that was close. Oh no, that was close. Huh? Sora, don't just stare into the sun like that, even if it is an eclipse. <laughs> How do they all have the orbs as well? Oh, oh yeah, Goofy has the crystal orb from the money pouch, that's right. Sora? Sora, are you okay? It just huh? looks really cool, okay? What? And the blue crystal orb reveals the next keyhole. Yeah, Twilight Town is really short when you come back to it. It's one fight and cutscenes. Granted, that fight is really difficult if you do it as soon as you can, and especially if you don't have Magnet. Also, I, I mentioned that like, Reflect is by far the most broken spell in the game. I really haven't used it that much. I will. Trust me, I will, for late game. It's one of those things that's like, it's pretty good at first, and it gets just so much better the later in the game you get. What, what just happened? A new road is open. No, it's not. And Kyrie and Riku are waiting somewhere along it. You'd better hurry then. You coming back? Promise. Dark Kyrie just got kidnapped. Oh well, at least we've got the trophy. <laughs> and here we get the Oath Keeper Keyblade. Enhances magic and increases the duration of a dry form. Oath Keeper's a nice Keyblade. It only has free strength, just like the Kingdom Key and most other Keyblades that we have, but it has three magic, which is the highest that we have thus far, and it's honestly one of the higher magic stats you'll see in the game. And using this will also allow you to remain in your dry forms for longer, which is very nice. And speaking of dry forms, we just get Limit Form. Access Limit Form alone with the help of friends far away. So this is a dry form that was not in the original Kingdom Hearts 2. This was introduced only for Final Mix. 
Limit form is a very unique drive form. Uh, for one, like the description says, it's the only drive form in the whole game that you don't need any allies in order to do it. You can enter it when it's just sore. You can enter it when your party members are dead. If you have any number of party members, doesn't matter. You can enter it. Costs four drive gauges instead of just three to enter. It also has a 0% chance of putting you into anti-form when you enter it as well. So Limit Form is a very unique form. It basically turns you into a super-powered version of Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora. And specifically Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix Sora, which I know I played the original Kingdom Hearts 1 on my channel. I played a little... I played like two bonus videos in Final Mix for the Olympus Coliseum time trial and then for the Unknown boss fight. But basically this gives you Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora's, like, Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix Sora's moves. So things like Xantasuka and Ripple Drive, all that, Hurricane Blast. It also gives you access to the growth ability Dodge Roll, which is the best evasive command in the game. It gives you tons of invincibility frames. Really nice to have. Limit form is really good because, like, your combos are super simple, but they're really nice. And it also gives you access to four limit form exclusive limits that you can do. They are Sonic Rave, which is basically Sonic Blade. Strike Raid, Last Arcanum, which is basically Ars Arcanum, and then Infinity, which is basically Ragnarok. All of those are very good. You can't use magic when you're in limit form. However, the limits themselves don't take all of your MP, and they're very powerful. And using the limits on enemies will also slowly refill your HP. So it's a really good drive form. Another final mix. I passed on the message as you so desired. I told the young Sora to keep defeating the Heartless. Good. Not only have you the power to inflict pain, you also have the power to plant seeds of doubt in one's receptive heart. Sora will soon begin to doubt himself. It will cause him to hesitate, and that hesitation will turn to anger. That anger will fuel him to get rid of his apprehension and move forward. He will pave the way for the future we desire. There's something I've meant to ask. About Axel. The poor fool. How long will he keep chasing the illusion of friendship? When he himself lacks emotion, trying so hard to retrieve what he has lost, when it may never have existed in the first place. He deserves nothing more than our pity. Interesting. So that's Twilight Town. Now we could end the video here. The King, oh. Riku, and now I've lost Kairi again too. Don't be sad. Donald's right, you know. Why, you're the key that connects everything. So it's all my fault. Gorge, I didn't mean that. Just do what comes natural to you, and we're sure to find them. You son of Thanks, guys. Oh, no. Funnel Bastion! It's all covered in darkness! You're right, Chipper. Uh, I wonder what's going on. Sora! We'd better hurry and check it out right away! Okay, so this is where the part of plot of the game really kicks into overdrive if we go back to Hollow Bastion, as it's now covered in darkness. This is why I did Hundred Acre Wood first, because once you enter Hollow Bastion, once it's covered with darkness, that sets you on the road for basically, I'm not gonna say end game, because there's still a huge amount of the game left, but that sets you basically on a path for a uh, greater plot, and what's gonna happen later is that once we go back there, I'm not sure if we have the opportunity to leave in the gummy ship, we might, but basically, once we complete Hollow Bastion here, all of the gummy ship routes are going to lock themselves again, so we won't be able to go back to all of these different worlds until we basically beat the worlds again. Because we have to go back to every world twice in the game, essentially. Or go back. We have to complete every world twice, basically, but, like, each plot will be different. So we'll have to unlock the roads again. So before we do that, I want to go to Agrabah, because there's something here that you don't know about that will really help us. We're going to go to the Cave of Wonders Chasm of Challenges. This is something that's only in Final Mix. If we go into the Cave of Wonders treasure room, now that we've beaten the world and left it, as you can see, there is a Organization 13 coded thing here. Press triangle to begin the duel. Attack continuously. 
and don't let him heal. That was really slow. So this is an example of an Organization 13 mushroom. There are 13 of these guys around the game in Final Mix, and they will appear in specific spots. So this guy will always appear in the treasure room in Agrabah, but you can't actually access him until you beat Agrabah. And what happens here is basically each of the Organization 13 mushrooms will have a special challenge, and if you do well enough at the challenge, you can get special rewards, and completing all 13 of the challenges will get you a very special reward. We are nowhere near even close to being good enough to complete all these challenges, but what this one in particular is good for is that it's great for leveling up a lot of your drive forms. Yeah. So, for example, he this is basically a giant enemy with tons of HP that will constantly be healing, which means it's perfect to use Valor form on. So we're going to start the battle and enter Valor form. As you can see, we're not even like close to being strong enough to being able to defeat him. But what's useful about this is that we can enter Valor form, get a ton of experience in Valor form by attacking him. And then before the form runs out, what we can do is we can go back to the save point and go into the gummy ship, and that will also refill our drive gauge to what it was before we entered Valor form. Provided we haven't reverted out of the form yet by the time we enter it. Alright, so I want to make sure we don't run out, so we're going to run out. Because if we do end up reverting, we will lose all of that drive. But if we go to the world map, because we're still in Valor form, it'll kick us out. And whenever the game forces you to out of a drive form or a summon, you'll get all of the drive back. So we still have four drive. Another thing I'm going to do, uh, so limit form, first of all, has a bunch of new actions. Sonic Rave, a limit command that unleashes an attack on an enemy as you pass by. Press, press triangle at the right tempo for a combo, costs 68 MP. Uh, last Arcanum, a limit command that unleashes a powerful combo attack. Press triangle for a consecutive combo, costs 75 MP. Strike Raid, a limit command that allows you to throw a Keyblade at the target. Press triangle for a combo, uh, costs 65 MP. Infinity, a limit command that can be unleashed by pressing triangle after an aerial combo, costs 80 MP. So they get progressively more and more, uh, powerful. So Sonic Raid is great because it can dash at enemies a bunch of times, and every time you hit an enemy in this, you will recover a little HP. So combine this with MP Rage, it basically makes it so like you get your HP back. If enemies damage you again, you'll get your MP back, so you can use it again. So you can just keep using it, basically. Strike Rate is great because it gives you complete invulnerability throughout the entire fane and it has long range. Last Arcanum is like the most powerful combo attack you can do. It's really good. And then Infinity can basically shoot a giant laser that can kind of penetrate enemy defense a bit. Santa Sukin unleashes a finishing combo move on a single target. This powerful attack can instantly eliminate a weaker enemies. Ripple Drive unleashes a finishing combo move when surrounded. Damage dealt is relative to magic skill. Hurricane Period unleashes a powerful finishing combo move consisting of an aerial barrage. Santa Suto Counter unleashes Santa Sukin by selecting attack while guarding. Reflect Combo blocks enemy attacks during a guard and why by pressing triangle er, triangle by pressing square during a combo. This is also the only drive form in the whole game that allows you to that allows you to keep the ability to guard enemy attacks, making it the best defensive drive form. It's really good. As you can see, we can still use guard. We also have slap shot and slide dash and aerial sweep. Dodge roll level 1 is the game, uh, the growth ability. HP gain, restores Sora's HP when a limit command lands, yeah. So every time we damage an enemy using one of the limit form limits, we will recover HP, which is really, really good. It also gives us another lucky lucky, uh, an MP haste, an MP rage, and another draw, which is really great. And the way you level up limit form is that you need to successfully complete limits while you are in limit form. So you can get interrupted in the middle of a limit, and... That's not very good, because it'll knock you out of it and you won't get experience points for it. But if you successfully complete a limit, then you will get an experience point. So now I'm going to show off limit form. So we're going to enter limit form. So as you can see, we're basically Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora. We're going to use Last Arcanum. You can just keep pressing triangle to continue to combo more and more. We can also use Strike Raid. So what it does is the shortcut command menu will update for your limit attacks. We also dodge roll. So yeah, we go to shortcuts. Our, our Whatever items you have set to shortcuts will override the limit shortcuts. So right now, because I have potion set to triangle, I can't sh shortcut command for slide, uh, Sonic Rave. So I'm going to turn that back off. Go to customize. Set a potion. I'm going to set it to thunder. Because why not? Because I want to show off all the limits. Limit form. Alright, Sonic Rave. 
All right, and we level up limit form. Now we're gonna do infinity. So it's really tight on the reaction command because there are three different reaction commands you can get. Uh, and each one gets progressively more powerful, but the timing is very tight on it. And we leveled up limit form already by just completing like two or three limits. So now we get auto limit as an ability, which not the same as the partner's auto limit, it just allows you to enter limit form with the reaction command. It's terrible, don't do it. I'm gonna try to do Ragnarok. Is it better this time? Air Infinity. Giga Impact, that's the one that you really want. And Strike Raid. So this, this mushroom is perfect for leveling up both Valor Form and Limit Form. So I'm just going to basically grind here until I can get them both to the highest level possible. Because I just unlocked Limit Form, all of my Dry Forms and my Summons can be leveled up by one additional level. Because you remember my Summon Gauge, or my Summons were at max level uh, earlier, but now that I have Limit Form, my next level... Oh! Maybe Limit Form doesn't count towards that. So I still can't level that up. Nah, never mind. Valor Form, I need 131 experience points to get the next level up. Cool. So I'm going to start with Valor Form, maxing that out. And we'll see where we go from there. Oh, did I already up? Yes, I already did. Darn it. One other thing I forgot to do was I'm going to equip uh, the Oath Keeper Keyblade as my main Keyblade, because that'll let me keep, uh, stay in the Drive Form for longer. Yes, Oath Keeper. Free Strength, Free Magic, Enhances Magic, Increases the Duration of a Drive Form, Gives you the ability Form Boost. It was originally called Drive Boost in the original Kingdom Hearts 2, but Final Mix made Drive Boost something else, and Form Boost is now what it is here. Right. Take this! Take this! Yeah. This is it. Yeah. Cool. Level up power form. And we get the ability combo plus. Now is power form max level? Nope. <laughs> Need even more experience points. Well then. In that case, I'm going to equip. Uh, I'm going to equip combo plus. That means one AP. Uh Temporarily unequipped aerial recovery. There we go! Power form leveled up again. So now Valor form has high jump level 3 and regular form has high jump level 2. We can now jump to reach this puzzle piece. <laughs> Sunset puzzle piece. Oh, there's also a puzzle piece over here that we just never got. Daylight puzzle piece. Sweet! And unless I'm mistaken, that should put Valor form at max level. I'm also very surprised I did not trigger anti form at any time. Yep, that's now at max level for now. It can still get two more... Oh yeah, that's right. It can still get two more level ups. There are two other drive forms. So limit form doesn't count towards increasing the level cap because, again, final mix exclusive. Another thing I haven't mentioned about limit form is that I, rem I mentioned that genie can mimic your, uh, your different drive forms. Genie cannot mimic limit form. There's no limit genie. Mainly because, I guess, again, final mix exclusive is limit form. And I guess they just didn't add another limit for genie. Anyhow... Now well, that's done, let's focus on leveling up limit form. So I'm just going to keep doing Sonic uh, raids here. Give me strength. Back off. Fight. Rats. Yeah. I can still only get two Sonic raids off per... Uh... Still can't get more than two Sonic raids off for a single... MP mid bar. Your maximum MP in the game can increase, which will allow you to get three off instead of just two, but I am not at that point. There we go! And I learned dodge roll level one for regular Sora, and dodge roll leveled up for limit form. Dodge roll is extremely important. I just wanted to point that out. Dodge roll is really, really, really important. <laughs> so important that I'm going to equip it right now. So I don't want, I don't already need combo plus. Dodge roll level 1. Dodge enemy attacks by tilting the left stick and pressing square. More efficient at higher levels. Now you might be wondering, Quick Run also says push square while moving. You can have both equipped, and you can have both equipped and still perform both. It's just slightly different. So like, for dodge roll you just are slightly holding the stick, whereas for Quick Run you're holding it all the way. 
Yeah, I really would recommend getting both, uh, getting good at being able to do both of those while they're both equipped, because they are both very good for different things. However, having said that, uh, aerial recovery I want to re-equip. I'm going to use free AP boosts on Sora. I probably could use uh, AP boosts on my other party members, but why would I do that? I also do not want Combo Plus on. Combo Plus is can be good, depending on what you'd want, but longer combos aren't necessarily better combos. Also, I have High Jump Level 2 now. That's pretty cool. Got High Jump Level 3 now. That's pretty cool. And we get Dental Level 2 now. That's pretty cool as well. Oh! Okay, so I lied. Limit form, you can enter anti-form. I thought, I thought for sure... I did enter limit form there, didn't I? I thought for sure you could... You couldn't get anti-form when you went limit. I guess I was wrong. Well, you know what we're gonna do now? We've got these drive recoveries. Actually... Oh, you guys are in for a treat, actually. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show... Well, first off, I'm gonna test to see if this is actually true. I think it's true. I believe there's a very easy way to recover your drive orbs by using Magnet with Trinity Limit. Alright, Donald Duck. I no longer want you to have Fantasia equipped. I'll put on Fire Boost instead. First off, I wanna see Timus River. Are Donald and Goofy walking around? No, they're not. All right, wonderful. All right, so I'm gonna try pulling these guys in. Stop it, Donald and Goofy. That was the wrong one. That was the wrong one. What I believe you can do is I... Yeah. Don't don't call me on this, I'm gonna test to see if this is true. I believe you can use Magnet to pull in a bunch of enemies, enter Trinity Limit, and use Goofy's, like, drive one on the Magnet. Yeah. And it'll something good will happen. Maybe not. Or maybe I just did it completely wrong. I do want to test to see if that's actually true, though. Because I, I want to say I've seen speedrunners do something where they pull in a bunch of enemies with Magnet and use Goofy's Trinity Limit finisher on them. Where they, he sprays a bunch of drive orbs at it and it just skyrockets your drive gauge. I don't know, not the cars. Nope, okay, I, I was wrong. I mean, that did a decent amount. Oh, I get an AP boost for completing the collection. That's nice. Oh, I can make the Arcissus. I'll use Bright Stone and Energy Stone, because I can. Uh, or Acrisi Acrisius. Increases fire, blizzard, and thunder resistance, and greatly increases defense. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Okay, still Garnet Green and Diamond Green. Okay, cool. Don't mind me being in Timeless River. Nothing happened. I was just boosting my drive gauge up by one, and now I'm gonna use a drive recovery to restore the other free. Now I'm at four drive again, which makes up for anti form. That's the one problem with grinding drive gate uh, forms in Acrobat. If you enter anti form, you lose the drive and you don't get it back. I thought for sure though that limit form you couldn't go anti. Trust me though, you want to level up limit form as soon as possible because the abilities limit form gives you are really good. Let's go. Yeah. Not just the growth ability dodge roll, but like the other ones as well. Power forms like combo pluses aren't that good. But limit forms, extra abilities are. Alright, I don't know if I can get in two more Sonic Raves, but I can at least get in one more. And again, use the Oath Keeper Keyblade. No, I can use a number. Aladdin's just like, 
Um, Sora, why do you keep coming back here? Sorry, Lightning, just gotta use my powers. Okay. <laughs> cool. Level it up again, we got an extra drive gauge for limit form, and we get the ability draw. We get another draw. But a second one is also very good. There we go. Level it up as much as it can go right, right now. Now that you can kind of get an idea of what limit form is like. There you go. Very nice. So now we've got level three, well, level two dodge roll for regular Sora, and we got a uh, draw. And now both limit form and valor form are as high a level as it can be, as well as our summons. Wisdom form still needs some work, unfortunately. But there's no real, like, amazing way to grind up a wisdom form right now. After the worlds, like, we have to go back to them, that's when Timeless River opens up and will become a lot better for grinding up wisdom form and for summons as well. Anyhow, this has been a brief showcase of leveling up drive forms by Colorful Artie. Thanks for watching, everybody. And tune in next time, we're going back to Hollow Bastion. That's where the plot's kind of getting kicked into overdrive. The story gets more interesting, and also where it gets a bit more epic as well. So look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.